Yiddish is a Germanic language spoken by Jewish people in many parts of the world. Russia, Germany, US, Canada, Brazil, Argentina. And the reason I'm going to help you with it is because... Oi, oi, oi. They've heard it a hundred times. You used to be afraid of dialects. Yada, yada, yada. Let's get into it. In standard American English, is in the middle of the mouth. They know. In the Yiddish dialect, it's more forward. At the tip of the tongue, where the bottom and the top two lips meet. Now, you don't really open your mouth that wide. You pretend like you're holding a marble in there, and it's real lazy-like. The sound just kind of lollygags out of there, and you keep your tongue down, kind of press it against your bottom teeth, so it just sits there. Remember, it's lollygagging out of your mouth. You got that? That was very impressive. Can I tell him about the lilt? Go ahead. The Yiddish lilt, when you're stressing a syllable, goes up, but then ends on a downward pitch. For example, I left my family all back in Jerusalem because I wanted to come to America to achieve my purpose. You see how it goes up when I stress, but it ends on a down. That's how you do it. Don't forget to go up when you're stressing something, but come back down. Vowel changes. Many of them are minor and indistinguishable. For example, the E sound gets a sound kind of between the A and the short I sound, I. For instance, cheese could be chis. Chis. I want some chis. I want chis. The U sound goes to a sound somewhere between an uh and an ah sound. For instance, couple goes to couple, couple. My wife and I made a great couple. We made a great couple. The A sound goes to an E eh sound. Like great and today go to Great. Today. Today is a great day. Great. Today. Moving along. The oo sound goes to the uh sound. Fool goes to fool. You're a fool if you don't search for a purpose. These next vowel changes have a more specific and clear change in the pronunciation. The short A goes to the E sound. For example, ask, soprano, and hand go to esk, soprano, hand. This is my hand. The O sound goes to an uh sound. No and lonely go to no, lonely. If you've got no social skills, you're gonna be lonely. I love that guy. Don't patronize me. The oi sound goes to the uh e sound and there's no rounding of the lips. For instance, Noise and toys go to noise. Toys. Don't make too much noise when you're playing with your toys in the middle of the night. <laughs> you think that's funny? No. I do know the ah uh sound goes to the uh sound. For instance, pause and awful go to Puss. Awful. I paused before I went in the public restroom because it smelled something awful. Here's one that's fun. The B sound goes
goes to the P sound, especially at the end of words. Like tribe and robe become tribe, rope, the chief of the tribe, war a grand rope. These are great. Here's another good one. The G sound goes to the CK sound. For instance, pig and snag go to peak, snack. The peak snagged his tail on the barbed wire fence. Then there's the ING. It goes to the INK. Sing and ring go to sink, rink. I was sinking in the shower while the phone was rinking. You think that's funny? Do ya? Yeah, kinda. Hi, hi, hi. The D goes to a T. Candid, food, grand, go to canted, foot, grant. The V goes to an F. For instance, grave and behave become grave, behef, behef, or I'll send you to the grave. Not really. I'm not going to do that. Don't worry. Z goes to the S. For instance, noise and prize go to noise, price. I want the prize for making the most noise. I thought of that right now in the moment. The J sound goes to the SH sound, like collision and vision go to collision, vision. I had a vision when I was driving my car and I almost got into a collision. The J sound goes to the CH sound, like voyage and cabbage go to voyage, cabbage. I went on a long voyage out of seven seas, and all I had to eat was cabbage. The R in the Yiddish dialect is a blast. It can go any number of ways. For instance, at the end of words, it can either be dropped or it gets the guttural sound. Now the guttural sound comes from the back of the throat. For instance, mother can go two ways. The R can be dropped or it can get the guttural ending. Mother. I love my mother more than anyone else in the world. More there? I love my more more than anyone else in the world. You should love your more too. Or your mother, whichever you say. The R also gets the guttural stop at the beginning of the words or between two vowels. For instance, rose, run, or borrow go to Ross, run, borrow. I run up to the hill to borrow a rose from the beautiful woman that's at the top of the hill. The medial ER, which is in the middle of the words, gets the oi or the uh, and you're dropping the R. You determine what you want to do. For words like thirsty, New Jersey, first, can go two ways. Foisty, New Jersey, foist. Thirsty, New Jersey, first. Which one do you like better? The oi or the uh? You decide. It's up to you. The TH can get the T sound or the D sound. For instance, the word thank gets the T sound, whereas soothe might get the D sound. Thank. Thank you. Soothe. 
soothing. Thank you for the soothing sounds of the music. I love music. Nailed it. The W sound at the beginning of words gets the V sound. Wish or wellness equals wish, wellness. I wish you all the wellness in the world. You might even be doing a character where the W is replaced by an F at the beginning of the word. Wonderful could turn into wonderful. It's a wonderful day. It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. A wonderful day in the neighborhood. A wonderful day in the neighborhood. All right, all right, I'll stop saying. And lastly, the medial T becomes a D. Latter and batter go to Ladder. Better. I went to the hardware store and got a better ladder so I can climb to the top of the Empire State Building. That would be one heck of a ladder. Mr. Futterman, ladies and gentlemen, thanks again for joining us. Don't forget... Christ, they know. Subscribe to the channel. Make a comment. Like the video. And for crying out loud, click the link right there for more dialect videos from the dialect guru here. And one more thing. If you're struggling with dialects and you're thinking to yourself, I can't do this. You can't do it yet. My niece taught me that valuable lesson. She's a smart kid. She's also starring in a horror short. Click right there and you could see her play a dead body. That's right. The greatest portrayal of a dead body in any horror film ever. See you next time. Lehi trot. That means goodbye in Yiddish. Goodbye.